The sanctions announced today by Biden on four Israeli settlers in the West Bank is uh, not without time. Not uh, it, It's a little bit on the slow side. And frankly, sanctions should have been imposed on settlers a long time ago. I think these four settlers are just the tip of the iceberg. And the settler program is entirely and wholly wrong. It's based on a lot of religious... I was going to say a lot of religious mumbo-jumbo. That's what I want to say. That's frankly what I'm going to say. I understand the principles behind it. And the principles are once you've got the land, you can't surrender the land. That's the religious principle. And a lot of the settlers have a religious background and a sort of religious fervor. But it doesn't make it right. And... uh, Various people said, how can, you, how can you give up land that actually belongs to other people? And I think that's a perfectly reasonable question. The uh, start of the State of Israel is perhaps exceptional because the UN was involved. But the start of the State of Israel was, of course, predicated on the, the terrorist activity or was helped by the terrorist activity of the Irgun, and people like Menachem Begin, detestable behavior. And the state of Israel is there despite that um, origin. And I think that needs to be borne in mind. The state of Israel is a very positive thing and has had a positive impact on the development of agriculture, on the development of... um, infrastructure throughout the region. But it's also had a negative impact on the lives of the Palestinian, the indigenous community. Now, of course, uh, some of those uh, some of those people um, are in the Gaza Strip as well. The, the, there has to be a peaceful solution. That peaceful solution is not helped by encroaching further on Palestinian land and taking uh, land with some sort of religious zealotry. This is actually where the word Zionism uh, becomes fundamentally useful. And I um, I think this is a first step and one of many that needs to be taken by the international community. Uh, It needs to be taken in conjunction with demonstrable support for the State of Israel itself, and also with a censure to Netanyahu's behavior and Netanyahu's intransigence and refusal to listen to international opinion or to uh, consider the his role in the security of the Palestinian people. And if he wishes to have a role in the future security of, for example, the Gaza Strip, that starts now. And so it, if he wants to assume responsibility for the safety of the civilians in Gaza, that starts now. And I don't think um, bombing them to smithereens is going to help.